Off you go, Beagle. Thank you very much. Oh, look at that. Woo. Nice work. Yeah, well done. Well done, done eh? Hey guys, as you know, we're all about releasing our billfish, but sadly, sometimes they don't make it, so. But this is actually quite a good um, example. J-hooks versus circle hooks. This fish died because you know, the boat that we're fishing on, they were had a rig set up for Mahi Mahi and uh, Wahoo out the back on the, on the shotgun. Had a J-hook in a, in, a, in a natural bait. What happened, this fish jumped on the, uh, on the dead bait, and it's actually foul hooked it, and it's foul hooked it back of the fish so when we're fighting it we're basically killing the fish because it's just going to slow it down until it can't swim anymore and it, it, all, it, it died which leads to the argument of if that bait actually had a circle hook in it, it th that wouldn't have happened it wouldn't have snagged the fish the fish might have jumped on the bait and missed it and there's a high probability that it would have come back and actually swallowed it and we could have hooked it with the, with the circle hook it's a great opportunity right now to actually see how a circle hook, hook works the bait goes on the mouth he closes it, starts swimming away from us, pull it, and look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. Every time. You can see how uh, effective these hooks are. And if we wanted to release this fish, we probably would have had a more of a chance to do it if we're using a uh, non recurve circle hook. For all the rods, reels, lures, and terminal tackle, and some great advice, call in and meet your team at your local hunting and fishing New Zealand store. And for more inspiring online fishing content, visit journeyofafisherman.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel.